Walker demands I take a paternity test because I boned his wife. But there's something huge he doesn't know. It's that my it's huge. Ass. What's a Vienna sausage to a meat factory? <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or cry over this entire situation that's unfolded in the past six weeks. I, 23 male, have a coworker I've been friends with for over four years, pretty much since I started working at the factory that I'm still in. Robert, 32 male, just had his first daughter, Chelsea, two months old after four boys. Dang. Congrats. Many boys. Putting that sausage to work. The boys are dang near carbon copies of him. Bleach blonde hair, freckless skin. I swear to God, they were just born with tans. And his high school sweetheart slash wife, Danielle, 32 female, is a tight curled redhead with freckles for days and burns like there's no tomorrow. Classic blondie redhead mix. Yup. Their daughter from the jump had a full head of red hair that's already starting to curl. When I met her, she was two weeks old. Is it possible to have a redhead kid if you don't have two? Drake's baby has blue eyes. Anything is possible. <laughs> I gasped as a fellow redhead myself here with long curly red hair as well. And I said something along the lines of, OMG, it finally happened. The red is alive. Just being dramatic and funny. Robert goes, yeah, don't go bank on that saying. My genes are strong after all. His wife, Danielle, rolled her eyes, and I just shrugged it off as a weird joke at first. But the entire time I was there, he pretty much kept going on about how his genes would prevail. Jump forward. Chelsea is now five weeks old, and for three weeks, every single day, Robert would be complaining about how little of himself he sees in his daughter, how much of a stranger she is for it, that some days he's thinking he's looking at another person's baby. Ooh. I believe he's leading the witness. Mr. Worcestershire, put your slong on the stand and say the oath of meat. Did you or did you not? I put that sausage inside of my wife. Robert only ever seemed to want to complain to me. The only redhead, huh? After the fifth day in a row, I started trying to explain how genetics work, pretty much saying that genes aren't going to always drastically go one way or the other. It's true. Man could have a recessive gene. A recessive sausage. Recessive sausage. You do not want a recessive sausage. Three days ago, Robert came into work just itching to get in an argument with everyone. Our mutual friend Jesse asked him what the F is his deal as he was on his break after he shouted at another friend for just asking a work-related question. He blew up saying that he knows that Chelsea, his baby, isn't his and his cheating salute of a wife just won't admit it and he knows exactly who she was effing around with. How does he know? Then he looks over at me. The only redhead in the room. And yells to get my big old redhead butt outside. It's like an anime show that is like, I challenge you to a duel over my wife. I asked, why? And then he starts screaming, I'm not stupid. I know you've been trying to kiss my butt to avoid this beat down all week. <laughs> What oh would you God. do if you were our, our, if I'm if I'm the our, redhead? our poor red, redheaded, <laughs> you know, person here? Like, what are you doing? Oh, man. Mono a mano sausage on sausage. I don't know, like, am I, am I my size and strength or am I like more feeble? Like what, what's you're, the power you're, ratio? You're you, but you have red hair, red curly hair. Okay. I'm me with red hair. And how big is this guy? Let's, let's go average about five, nine. Oh, okay. You I'm, ready? I'm standing ground. Oh, let's go. <laughs> There's there's two things that are going to happen, right? Right. All right. Either he does nothing and it looks like a little <laughs> and then everyone thinks I boned his wife and he backed down. <laughs> 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 or two, he swings, punches me with his tiny little five nine fist, <laughs> and then I get to sue the company for a shit ton of money. Win, win. I'm standing on my ground. Do you think Opie did it? Do I think did Opie he did lay it? down that sausage? Hmm. I'm gonna say like no. Did it? But I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe he's like you know, uh, respectful in the streets and mean in the sheets. Yeah, I have a little surprise for you. Oh, yeah? Opie says, uh, I'm gay. Oh, okay. I have a male fiance. I have pride stickers oh, wait, all over my car linked up with oh, another wait, sausage. Okay. <laughs> 
I have pride stickers all over my car. Outside of work, I am a parrot of colorfulness. Hmm. Oh, yes. I think it's all a cover up. All a ruse. <laughs> it's all a ruse. It's a reverse beard. I mean, he, you he know. got married just to cover up the fact that he's boning this dude's wife. To be honest, not a terrible strategy. I'm hey, not going to lie. Hey, I almost believed it. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't help but laughed at him. It was just so bizarre, and I know I wasn't the only one looking at him like he was insane either. I told him Chelsea is literally half of Daniel's genetics, <gasps> that Daniel isn't an effing incubator of his genetics, and asked him why he is so obsessed with their kids needing to look exactly like him. <gasps> What's the point of it? <gasps> he wouldn't answer and just kept telling me to get up before he dragged me out to the parking lot. My God, Whoa, he's about really, to go down. He's threatening some shit. And that worked too. It's, it's like the worst yeah, place. bro. At, at least, least wait like, till like a after hour cocktail yeah, 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 or something. Exactly. Where or it's like, like, you know, follow him after work to his home. And yeah. then like be th like there. I told him I'm not going to fight him on something this ridiculous. And I asked him if he was trying to get fired. Does sound like it, OB. Yeah. He started demanding that I take a paternity test. And I again asked him if he was completely serious. He said he was because I spend so much time with Daniel, his lady. He's not necessarily wrong. She's been a part of the girlfriend group that I'm a part of. There's five of us in total, and we do artsy stuff, try new places, just hang out and, and do have whatever. Stuff with each other. Uh, <laughs> well, Opie says never stuff like that. Ooh. I told him to go take a paternity test for himself. Yeah, if you want to know Honestly, if you're the father or not. Swab yourself, send it in, and then you'll know for sure. He argued and said, I'm not paying for a test because I know the truth. Bro, man is so confident, but so, so wrong. I told him, I am not going to pay for this paternity test. And then he asked which redhead in the factory he was going to accuse next. <laughs> He's just like running up to every redhead so, right, on planet Earth, like you impregnated yeah. my wife, you impregnated my wife. The exchange ended when our shift manager came in for her break. I texted Danielle and told her exactly what happened. Next day was my day off, so my phone was on silent and I slept in. I woke up to Elliot, my partner, getting off the phone and telling me I need to check my phone. What do you think is on this phone? I gotta imagine it's like our agro sausage man being like, you know, I'm outside your house. <laughs> yeah. like, That's a good come guess. Come find me. I've been bombarded with dozens of messages and missed calls, threatening emails from Robert because Danielle kicked him out of the house. Whoa. So after he spilled the tea, she was like, yeah, Goodbye. who could have seen yeah. that coming? Oh, oh. <laughs> he decided to get Elliot's number out of Danielle's phone to tell him his version of events. <laughs> oh, God. <gasps> I've already told Elliot the night before, so he was just baffled on how certain Robert was about this. <gasps> Daniel did text me a few times apologizing on Robert's behalf and then updating me that they were getting a paternity test and she's filing for a divorce. Woo! Hot take. Maybe, maybe he wanted a divorce and this is his way of, of getting out of the marriage. I mean, if it is, it's it, worked. dang, it is working. Well, man sabotaged the shit out of that really. I mean, also he blows up his own life. Like he gets yeah. in a fight and work. Like, oh, my yeah. God. Oh, yeah. Man's um, going to be divorced, homeless. Yeah. On the street, just punching gingers. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Is it you that did it? My partner thinks it's hilariously sad that Robert has just destroyed his marriage. Yeah, no, that, that's it. That totally. is how I feel, too. This morning while getting ready for work, Robert texted me and said he has the money. And when the test comes back with the truth, he's going to. F me up in court for what I've done. How I've ruined not only his life, but his kids' lives and everyone in their family's lives too. Yeah, bro, it's not you. It's everyone else. I agreed to the test and told him he may as well quit his job and just vanish after this because it's going to be real embarrassing when I walk in with all the paperwork and wave it around to everyone saying that I'm not his daddy to his redheaded child and he has to explain to everyone, including his children, what an absolute Absolute idiot he is. He said that. Yes, Man. bro. Opie's going in. Honestly, Opie's he he, he deserves back. to climb yeah, back. He totally does. Come on. He totally does. Our friends have been giving me.
me the cold shoulder all day, pretty much saying that, yeah, they don't think I'm the dad for sure, but I am a trash friend for going straight to his wife and getting him thrown out of the house and having him being forced to sleep in his truck <laughs> and that I should have just agreed to the paternity test to begin with instead of stirring up drama and getting unnecessary people involved. Oh, man. But it's one thing if he decided he wanted to get one for himself, but he expected me to not only get one, but pay my own way and just not say anything. But yeah, I'm the trash friend and the trash person, I guess. Robert's family is doing nothing but slandering Danielle and I'm being mocked for having the reversed version of a beard. Like a man uses a woman as a cover so people know he's actually hey, gay. that's what I said earlier. Exactly. <laughs> and now it's causing issues with Elliot's family because their logic is... Well, they wouldn't be so sure if there wasn't proof. My family is 100% with me and knows that I have absolutely zero interest in women. Even if I did, I'm not a cheater. We need to know if you all think that OP is the a-hole here. My baby called my wife's work husband Dada, and now I am suspicious. He's been spending a little bit too much time around the old wife. Hmm, what Work you, what from doing? home, but maybe it's bone from home oh, without God. me. Remote boning? Ooh. <laughs> Turn the camera on, Poppy. So I don't really want to come across as that one controlling guy that cuts off his wife from her friends, but I am going to do it. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm going to be fucking sad. But I've just witnessed something. I can't look past. My wife has been seeing her best guy friend way more often than she even sees me. Oh, that's sad, man. Interesting. Getting cuckolded. You know, <laughs> sorry. He's always over at my house, and I just heard my son call that man Dada. Bro, not only is he stealing your wife, he's stealing your kid, too. What would you do? I would feel sad. I would feel sad for sure. I mean, like, I would be like, yo, to the dude like hey i want to be the dad <laughs> like <laughs> can you like not be around uh, my kid my wife did nothing but laugh oh her friend at least had the decency to realize he'd done wrong because he tensed up and looked at me in a panic as if he expected me to kick off on him <laughs> beat the shit anyone. Uh, say I'm your daddy. This makes me think that my wife has been talking badly about me and maybe calling me aggressive for the man to look scared. That seems like a, a, a bit leap. of a bit of a leap. But unless he has like a I mean, unless he has like a history of being aggressive. I, I feel like there's That's so much going like, on yeah. and like each everyone is like the wife is thinking this, the, the OP is thinking this, the other guy's thinking this. There's just a lot happening. I've been married to her for almost three years now. So I would expect her to stick up for me. Fair enough. I'm not defending anyone or anything, but like, what is there to stick up about? How dare you? How you, you like, what, like, <laughs> like, but like, or like, like, <laughs> like, what would, you, what would you want her to say? Like, like discipline the child. How dare you not say Just or pro like, probably not laugh in his face. I feel like that's the only thing that was like, this is a sensitive area, but yeah, yeah. I don't know if she could do like, what, what else do you do? I don't know if you do anything else in this situation. It's a, it's a situation that sucks, but you yeah. can't blame the kid. Yep. And you can't blame, un unless he's boning your wife, you can't really blame the dude. I feel like he's spending more time with my son than I do as he's always over and I work long hours. He works night shifts, so during the day, he's almost always away at my house and I come home to see him being there. That's That's a little bit crazy. He's mm. constantly there doing something with my son and my son loves him, which hurts me as I want to have my own bond with him. And I feel like that's been taken away from me. Uh, I mean, two, two things can be, can exist at once. I feel mm. like, I don't know. Uh, hypothetical. If this was a woman, it's a woman, best friend. Yeah. Same kind of dynamic. He wouldn't, he probably wouldn't feel any way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, probably wouldn't feel yeah, any I'd, sort of way. No, no, no. Right. Especially it's like his like his wife is probably doing all like, you know, the homemaking and like taking care of the kid, like probably would help to have extra hands around the house. Yeah. Yeah. We need another women to make all my sandwiches. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I'm busy not parenting over here. <laughs> That's a, I, I feel like not even the, the child situation, but like, look, man, like I'm just coming home. Like you're like always over. Like I never know when you're going to yeah. be over and I just want to be able to relax, like walk around in my boxers. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like also it's really hard to like 
cuddle with my wife when you're always <laughs> her, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now my wife is pregnant again. Okay, maybe you could get it right the second time. <laughs> <laughs> and I've told her I've been thinking of cutting my hours because I want to be there for my kids. Oh, okay. So yeah, that, that that's actually great. Which seems great. Yeah. But she threw a fit. What? <laughs> because she needs the money so she can stay home with the kids because that's better for them. Yo. I don't know that I would say that. That's Yo. That last part, that's that's a little That's kind of crazy, dude. That's kind of harsh. I, I mean, mean, it's his kid too. I just want my kids to bond with me and not that man. She doesn't seem to understand that parenting is a team. Yes. And it's almost like she doesn't want me to be involved. This has just made me realize that I need to be more involved than her guy best friend is. And I don't know how to peacefully go about that. Any advice? Um, well, first off, y'all need to give him some advice. Yeah. So please throw it in the comments. Throw it in there. Uh, and, and if you think like OP or or the wife or, or anyone is the a-hole. Where has this situation happened to you? Like, Let us know in the comments. Please put your stories in there. We're, we've been reading a bunch of them. Yeah. Uh, and it's also like everyone like like reads and responds to them in the comments, which is awesome. We love it. I don't, I don't think he actually is in the wrong. Like OP is in the wrong at all. Yeah. I think they... I, and I don't think the friend is tough necessarily spot. in the wrong at all. Like, because yeah, the boundaries yeah, haven't been made known to him. I think the only person that's a, like definitely the a hole here is the wife for um, really only for not letting the guy be with his sons. Literally, his she was like, You can't watch them because I'm better for them. It's like, that's so. Quack. I would have another conversation with your wife, but like with the intention, like, I, I need to spend time with my kids. I'm going to cut my hours. Or. You just straight Uno it. You go up to the to the to the guy, and you're like, "I'm marrying you now. Mm, mm. I'm, a, I'm, I'm have taking kids the kids." You. Or or you be like, "Yo, if you're gonna be here all the time, you gotta pay rent and start taking care <laughs> of the kids. You gotta you gotta put some <laughs> some some money up, baby. Go the straight uh the straight like uh in, uh eviction yeah like, exactly. like high school eviction story oh, style sure, like sure. pay rent or you're right out of here." here. Um, let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. But John, I actually got another story. Okay. My husband snapped and is threatening divorce, and I never would have guessed this is the reason why. Well, well now I want to know. Freaking sit down. I'm, 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 I'm telling my story, bro. I got my buns on a seat. We've been married for two years, dating for five. We are both 34. I'm a woman. He's a man. If it matters, I am not a picky eater. In fact, I'm quite adventurous. Oh. I'm an adventurous eater too. Oh God, I've had escargot. <laughs> Um, and every time I've traveled, I've always made a point to try dishes with unusual, uncommon ingredients to say I've tried them. There are very few foods I won't eat. One of them, though, is mustard. Oh, God. I hate the condiments. How could you? I don't like it. I just don't. The taste is very strong and overpowering. It's an unpleasant taste. I've tried yellow. I've tried stone ground. I've tried honey, artisan, brown, spice, you name it. I've tried them all. And I just don't like them. That's that's a lot of mustards. A lot of honestly. mustards. A lot of mustard. I don't know what what kind of weird foods have you tried? I feel like I've eaten some chicken foot. Have you ever hunted lobster? Uh, I've eaten a lobster fresh out of the sea, like a boss. My husband, for some reason, never understood this. He loves mustard, especially honey mustard. He puts it on all his sandwiches, dips his fries in it, and every time he tries to force me to try it, he'll insist I'll like it this time. But I'm a grown ass <laughs> woman. I'll say no, and it'll devolve into a mini argument, and he'll call me picky. Well, last night we were on the road home from a weekend trip we took together, and he stopped at a gas station to get us a quick bite. He got a hot dog slathered in mustard. I got one, but decided to eat a plain. I don't really love hot dogs to begin with, but I will eat it in a pickle, but not with pickles. I will eat a plain. While we waited in line, he asked what I got in mine, and I told him nothing. It's a plain dog. He actually got furious and grabbed it from me. He marched over to the condiment station and began putting mustard all over my dog. Why? Telling me to grow up and stop being so picky. Eat this mustard dog, God Bro, dang it. Bro, you grow up. 
Who uh, cares? Yeah, what would you do? Like if someone, if, if, what would you do if uh, I, we were getting hot dogs together? You got no mustard on, on it, and I'm like, John, you insolent idiot! <laughs> Can't believe you didn't get mustard on your hot dog and just freaking slathered it all in mustard and then threw it in your face. I would to be like, eat this, you fucking <laughs> dummy, <laughs> you idiot! I'd be like, you're buying me a new hot dog. Like I'm not gonna eat this. Like what's wrong? I could have just eaten the dog and we would just be chilling. But what if I bought you a Another hot dog and said, <laughs> "You just, just kept you, you keep it. buying it and like like, like I'm just force feeding You're it." Like to this you. time, I promise, I promise this time, I'm like, "Oh, I got you again! I got you again! Eat it, eat it!" So Op just walked out and sat in the car. Yeah, I didn't even want the hot dog anymore. <laughs> My appetite was gone. He came back and began screaming at me for embarrassing him even further. The word divorce was said for the first time ever in our relationship. Oh, my God. I secretly recorded his screaming because I was genuinely afraid I would die. He was driving erratically, swerving, and speeding. Why is he like, is he like acting like this over a freaking hot dog? Just beyond insanity. Beyond. I'm in a hotel tonight. He ignored me all day at work, and then the call started. Ring, 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 ring. I ignored them. Then he realized I wasn't coming home. Non-stop voicemails and texts. Ping, ping, ping. Like the sound effects? Yeah, like you're sound designing yeah. <laughs> yourself. He then sent me a screenshot of a Google search for local divorce lawyers. Wow, you can Google sick, dude. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh my God. God. I haven't eaten all day. I've been sobbing in my room. I don't want to get divorced, and I wish I had just eaten the f- <laughs> mustard. Can someone give me an explanation of what's happening? Why would he react this way to a preference of mine? I still don't want to divorce. It's so permanent. I just never pictured myself to be a divorcee, and I never pictured it being over mustard. So, John, that's the story. It is. I want to know what you guys would do in this situation. Also, if this has ever happened to you. Um, but, John, what should OP do? Dump his ass. It's so sad because she is completely not in the wrong, but she's, you know, like, oh, like I never saw myself as... Uh, uh, a divorcee and like all these things which like oh my like heart just hurts for her you know what I mean like she's done nothing d- d- been nothing nothing wrong and I think she's maybe just used to this or was kind of used, abuse, to, yeah. used to the behavior you know your prior but now mm. maybe it's like it's just like clicking for her more um, at least more than it was in I mean, the past. Like an- he is without a doubt the a hole, and you deserve way better. That's our that's our uh, that's our decision. And I got another story for you. Oh, I saw my boyfriend had a Snapchat girl with a heart next to her name, but then I found out the truth. What's the truth, baby? It's always saucy. It's, it's always, always saucy. saucy. If he's out here having having hearts next to the girls' names, he not the one. Cut. Yeah. Cut it. Um, although, although there was this one time I was with Ariana, I don't know if you've ever gotten those, but I've got, I got like a text that was like, yo, yes. um, are you, are, 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 did you come back from the bar last night? And I was like, what the f-? And she's like, who's that? And I'm like, I swear, I don't know. And I look at it and she's like, I'm going to send you some pictures right now. I hope, I hope she's not around. And then like, it was like, and it ended up being like one of those bots, but right. bro, like they're they're messing up relationships. That is crazy. Right. Yeah, I, I got one the other day. I was like, <laughs> "What is this? Dilly, 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 dilly. <laughs> sure I was like, it. What is this? Yeah. I hate those." Um, but real quick, I want to get. I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Ari, who is one of our fans on the show. She reached out on Instagram, showed some love, said she's been listening to the show for over a year. Over a year. Come on, that's God pretty great. Damn. So, Dude, you know, we, shout out to our, 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 our year or 365 right. yeah. baby. If you're, if you've been watching it for a year, definitely comment below. Oh yeah, uh, please do. We'll throw a shout out for you. Oh. Um, but on to the story. Uh, hi all. So recently my boyfriend and I have been having some issues. A few weeks ago, my trust was broken with him after he lied to me about where he was. Ever since then, I can't escape this nagging feeling that he's hiding something from me but I've been working really hard to choose to trust him and fight off that insecurity oh that God. he is hiding something. Oh, God. oh, have you lied once? Oh, yeah. This is this is a tough what place to be. What else are you lying about? Yikes. But then something happened the other night that is really bothering me, and I would like some objective opinions. Okay. Here we are. <laughs> We're here, the baby. objective opinions. Yeah. 
Um, we were sitting on the couch and he showed me something on his phone and I saw a notification of what looked like a woman's Snapchat with a heart beside it. Oh, so I, I acknowledged what I saw and said, I'm not making any assumptions or accusations, but it looked like I saw a woman's name with a heart beside it in your notifications. I mean, here quick, quick if we, the scenario was flipped. Yeah. How would you feel? I mean, yeah. How would you feel? How would well, you I feel? Would for sure. Ask about it. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Like, yo, who are you texting? Yeah, like what? What is yeah, this? Yeah, I don't know, for sure. Yeah, I hate those texts so much. <laughs> um, uh, so he said it was probably a uh, uh, a corn bot, corn bot, yeah, from Snapchat, but refused to show it to me after I asked to see it. See, that's, that's sus. Because because like if, if it's like I the, was in that situation, I would want to do everything possible. Like, like I here. literally when Ari see how like, spammy it looks. When Ariana like like I when I got a text from like a corn bot, I was like like Ariana is with me and I'm like, dude, babe, look at this. You could you could you could text her back, you know, like and I promise it's it's fake. Yeah. You know, I was like doing everything in my power to show that it was <sighs> not legit. Oh, it angers me. I explained that I didn't think it was an unreasonable request as his girlfriend to just see the notification. And he basically said he would rather me break up with him than show me the notification because I should trust his word. That's some f- gas lighting right there. Oh my God. I am. I'm, I'm hazy off of those gaslight fumes oh, right damn. there. My Sucking them in. God, Getting some carbon monoxide po- poisoning right Just there. Lo- <laughs> hot box in that garage. <laughs> <laughs> but I explained that it would just give me peace of mind. And then his reaction was causing me to doubt his word. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> it seemed off and shady to me, but I'm also seeing his side of it. And can understand why that's an invasion of privacy. Stop seeing his side, girl. Don't don't see it. Can anyone offer some insight? I mean, real quick, Sam. Like, what? <laughs> what's I think your he's insight? One thousand percent hiding something from Dude. you. I remember, like, uh, like my my first girlfriend cheated on me, and I remember <sighs> just like 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 all like the suspicious texts or like yeah. the, the phone hiding or like snatching the phone back a little bit too quickly. Like all of this stuff is like red flags in retrospect. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we've ever talked about this, but the, yeah. the hickeys that you said were spider bites. Mm-hmm. Um, classic spiders. Yeah, classic spider spiders about always freaking trying to uh, hook up with my your girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's why they call him daddy long legs. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I would, I would, th- that's like some, some hella suspicious like, like activity for super, sure. Super, super. Just show it. It's easy. The, mm. they're, like, especially the ones on social media, they're so obvious. Yeah. It's like, look at this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This is crazy. Um, so for more added context, we spend about three to four nights a week at my place. And I usually am at least one night at his place every week. Um, he lives with his brother and his brother's fiance who I've grown close with. So this is like a serious relationship. Yeah, this is serious. Um, He had his own closet at my apartment and I had drawers of clothes in his. He had the keys to my apartment. He's met my entire family. I've met his family. We've met all of our friends. We've done a seven day cruise to the Bahamas planned in November for this year for the entire family. So this is like, this is serious. They're in deep. They're in deep. Um, But Sam, there's one final update. Oh man. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that like he was just being weird. Yeah. And, he came came through he came and, through explained everything yeah yeah i broke up with him oh nope oh no yep. what why 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 i broke up with him after again he refused to show me and i just found out he's been cheating on me the whole time no. Bro, I would be so ooh so i would sad. ring i would ring that mother effer out. Oh, oh my God. God. The, yeah, the, yeah. Like Call the gaslighting. Yeah. And then I yeah. find and out. Then, and then it's Ooh. actually true. Oh. Yes. I told her and showed her proof. I seriously dodged an effing bullet. Yeah, you did. Wait, showed the other girl. Yes. Oh. The girl he was cheating with. Uh. Yep. Um, honestly, I will admit I am impressed with how he was able to pull off two relationships for as long as he did. The amount of planning, manipulation, rehearsing, and lying to avoid suspicion from me or her is absolutely terrifying. Insane. I would agree 
uh l- please let us know I- i'm sure some of you have like had stories like this or mm. like seen friends and stuff so share your perspective below if if, if the guy was the a-hole uh if you've seen similar stories we would love to you know see your see your stories in the comments sam what's what's the oh, boyfriend what's is the a-hole for sure oh, like gaslighting her and cheating like right? insane Girl, good on you for for breaking up with him. Yes. You are are the angel if there is one. Yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. But I think that's a wrap for this mega episode. Yeah, it is. Uh, we'll see you soon. That's right.